Angeles, California. It's Landed Late Night. Tonight's guest, Jocelyn Davis. And now, your host, Haley. All right, you guys, welcome back to Landed Late Night with me, your host, Haley Ringo. Tonight, we have a beautiful, fine, sexy boss woman, Jocelyn Davis, who is an executive producer, host for Clever, and she's an influencer, she's a YouTuber, she's absolutely killing it, and she's looking fine and hell in this mean coat she's got coming on set right now. Woo! Jocelyn Davis! Oh, can you just like live with me and introduce me as I wake up every morning? Yes, I, I feel can. so good about myself. Yes, I right can now. and I will. You like wake up tomorrow and I'm like, I thought you were serious. No, I am. Good morning. I I, do you want to live in my one bedroom? With me? Yes. Oh my great. god. Honestly, that'd be that'd be a great time. So many aerobics in here. So many activities. Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, welcome to Landed. This is I'm gorgeous. So the set. I love it. Congrats on the show. Thank you. Congrats on being fabulous, you know. Wow. I, you Thank know, you. I just I was going to I heard you had a minor of um, Spanish in I college. Do. I was going to introduce Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. Ooh. Mhm. Mm sí. Si. No sé. No sé you cómo se dice. Late night en español. Noche. I don't know. How do you say tarde? A noche. Tarde? Noche tarde. Noche I tarde. It's a really long time. I mean, honestly. Same. It's been like, like seven years. For me. I'm like, I graduated from college last week. Yeah. Slash, like 25 years ago. Ha! Well, it's so funny because on your, your Wikipedia page, it said you have a 75th birthday coming up. And you look amazing. Okay. I was like, wow. Thanks, girl. Thanks. It's like, I got a full face transplant last year. It's really coming together. So this is a joke. This, like, started as a joke. People on the internet, like, Either you're like seven years old or you are a 70. dinosaur. Perfect. There's nothing in between for a lot of people. <laughs> so people are constantly like, oh my gosh, you're so old or you look so young. And so I just started telling everyone I was 74 because I thought it was funny. It is funny. But now, <laughs> literally, my Wikipedia page says I'm 74. Oh my God, it literally started because you were telling people as a like a joke. As a joke. <laughs> as a joke on the internet. Like my age is totally public. I've never lied about it. <laughs> and it's just so funny. It says I was born in. 1944. So like right around World War II, it was a yeah, really rough no, time for all of us. It was just, you know, it was really, but you learned a lot. And you know, I you're did. so wise mm -hmm. with all these years that yep. you have on us. Exactly. And, and, and you really look damn like good. You've clearly beaten uh, just the law of uh, aging. I was yeah. going to say physics, mm -hmm. but that doesn't make sense. So Well, that too. Law honestly. of physics? Yeah, because your skin is just so perfect. <laughs> you know, the physics would bring it to, you look... Fab, you know. Well, a shout out to whoever changed my Wikipedia shout page. Shout out to you guys. That's a recent development, and I just, <laughs> I feel really happy about it. It brought me a lot of joy. So you thank can go you. on there and just change like anything about anybody. I think, right? You can just like, yes, you can. And literally, my parents are like, my, my parents like both just turned sixty, yeah. so they're very, very much younger than I am. Yeah, they're like we weren't even born in that year. I'm really confused how this happened. Oh my god. Okay, so you know, you've you've been hosting for so long and you've been producing and um, with Clever and I how did you even get started into that because you were an English major right right oh, gosh so like you and your research so, you know I, I stopped it. you for like <laughs> hours so I knew that I wanted to do broadcast journalism okay. in college um, unfortunately the school I went to didn't have like any programs for that so I kind of just selected a major that I didn't hate mm -hmm. I like reading and writing and communicating in general <laughs> um, and it actually turned out to be a really good choice because it was just a really challenging degree to get and while I was in college I just like intern 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 that's mm -hmm. always my advice to people like yeah. get your degree do yeah. your thing but like intern as much as you can so that's what I did and then when I graduated I was like I don't want to do hard news so I started getting more into hosting and that was like the beginning of the internet so mm -hmm. your girl was not getting jobs on TV I was too green and, and um, that's when I discovered that means new. YouTube yes very new like before <laughs> so pre birth green. new and so I started <laughs> getting jobs online and then I was like I think this is a thing um, got hired at Clever, helped launch that. Yeah, you, you were an OG. In, yeah. The real OG yeah. of Clever. No, seriously, we worked in a garage in West Covina. Yeah. Wait, it freaking, was... like, tell that story because it's inspiring and all these, like, massive companies now and things mm -hmm. that have taken off and Clever's huge, like, yeah. all started somewhere. And it's crazy. usually in a, in a, in a, what's, basement? That's not the word. 
in, in the a garage. garage. There the we go. Part. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy story. So a little over 10 years ago, I just went on like a host, producer, writer audition. Okay. Um, and Clever was looking to start making content and was not on YouTube yet. And um, we kind of quickly realized that we had this niche for like young entertainment news. This is like the Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana heyday, yes. like pre-Twilight Saga. Yeah. Very yeah. good time for the news. And um, we didn't have any money because like you're making literally mm -hmm. five cents, if that, on a YouTube video at the time because no one was really like monetizing the content. Right. So we worked in a garage in West Covina. Um, we had no AC. We would have to take breaks because literally like the pet, like the pit sweat would be like so out of control. Um, we had no money. We would like, I would wear the same t-shirt and then just put it on backwards with like a statement necklace over the tag. Yeah. Like it was, n it was not glamorous, but, um. That's what I so do. This is, I wear this every episode. And I just are these your keep, PJs? It's my pajamas. <laughs> I actually slept in this last night. So yeah, exactly. Love it. I just turn it inside out. I'm like, it's a new, I'm a new woman. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a crazy journey. I mean, 10 years is a long time, but it also feels like it's happened just in the snap of a finger, which is yeah. really crazy. Yeah. But, um, a lot of hard work. A lot of coffee. Yeah. A well, lot. Yeah. Coffee and Bailey. <laughs> cheers. Uh, cheers. Yes. You know, we should have Thank one little cheersy cheers. cheers. Mm -hmm. I just love your jacket. Like, your whole look Thank right you. now is just... I wasn't planning to wear it, but I appreciated your compliment. It is a faux fur. You don't have to say you that. Know, <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth. I did the same thing. YouTube. I'm like, it's a fake bag. I don't, I paid 39 I got on sale. It's like, you just always want to like. No, I feel like it's relatable. You know, you got to stay relatable to the peeps. No, it's very like bougie and like my new zat, zaddy. Oh, my zaddy would love this. Zaddy. <laughs> I we were know. talking about like the difference between daddy and zaddy. And, yes. And um, we think zaddy is like a young hottie. Yes, it could be with like a body exactly. Zaddy's whatever. just meaning like you're so sexy, and daddy, daddy is like I see. I could never get on the daddy thing <laughs> ever. Like it's just not within me. I literally, I was, I, I think dad. This is what I'm, I'm just gonna say. This is what yeah. I was thinking. Daddy is like you know either that you're sugar daddy, and that's like a mm -hmm. different kind of daddy. Or you're already married and you're like, mommy needs sex. And that's when you From say daddy. daddy. You know, it's like in a relationship that you're like, it's a safe zone and you can say weird things like that. See, I don't think that, that <laughs> I could ever have that come out of my mouth. Like in any context ever. It just like makes me feel like, like vomit is like gurgling up a little bit. That's just me. You do you. But Please like, just you know, try it on Chris and just be like, go and be like, hey, daddy, and hello. And you be like, are you unwell? Do you want me to take you to Cedar sinai right now? What did Haley do to you? You know, you seemed fine when you left home, and now I'm not sure what happened. He's used to my strange ways at this point. You know, that poor guy. Oh, my God. No, yeah, you guys are literally... So cute, so You're cute, so sweet. You guys are Maybe so the cute. zaddy thing would work. Zaddy I, I could feel work. Like he's very zaddy. -ish. He's a zaddy. Yeah, he's a zaddy for sure. You're like we have to come up with a name for for like women though, unless you so want to make zaddy true. universal. But like, like mommy. No, mommy's. I mean, I say like I just. I say mommy, mommy a lot, like M A M I. Right, which is like a totally, mommy. which is a totally different thing. Mommy, mommy, like J Lo mommy. says that all the time. Yeah, probably. so if J Lo she says is it, my queen. then like you know, then it's you know verified essentially. One hundred percent. It's verified for show. <laughs> wait, wait, how did you even? How did you and Chris meet? I just want to know y'all's story because yeah, I'm just so obsessed it's with so you guys. So funny. I'm always like, I grew up in the suburbs of L A. and I'm like, I'm not like L A. like people say, and then I'm like, oh, I met my boyfriend like through a reality show, so I don't. No, think you did not. Like, more LA than that. Wait, so was it Amazing on, Race? I was on The Amazing you Race. You met him on The Amazing Race? I didn't meet him on the show, but he's really good friends with the casting director okay. of that show. One okay. of his best friends is like a reality icon. He okay. like has one big brother and was like did really well in Survivor. And so he has like a lot of friends in that world. Okay. Um, and after I got kicked off the show, after you get kicked off of one of those reality shows, they don't let you go home. You have to stay, those like, bitches. hidden away in Bali. It was so rough. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Well, yeah. While I was there, that's my friend that's one of the casting directors on the show was like, I have this guy. Maybe you guys should, like, work together in a business capacity. But also, like, hmm. You should date. And but also like, Zaddy. Cool. But also Zaddy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she introduced us uh, for, we had a meeting where we went hiking, mm -hmm. which is, again, like the most stupid LA thing I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Like, who goes hiking on a group meeting? Like, that's not a thing, but it worked, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Um, and that's how we met. Oh and it's gosh. been like about three years that we've known each other. And yeah. And then when did you start, how long did you start dating after you guys? We were had never the friends. LA like, walk. I'm also and... not like a person who's really trying to make yeah. a lot of like straight male friends. Yeah. It just doesn't go well for me typically. Yeah. So we well, were. Well, you're just, so beautiful. It's like you're like oh, I don't sweet. like you, and they're like, but I I want to take you home and you I, be my you, wife. I don't know. Does that not happen to you? I feel like 
it would always be like one person liking the other yeah, and yeah. it always like ended badly yeah so we were never friends yeah we were just like I thought maybe like business associates or dating right and then I'm pretty sure we're dating now I asked yeah him, like, are we together Right Three now. years, and you're like, I, I, think, I think we're together. I think this I'm is going well. Sure. Are you my boyfriend? Can I tell people? I mean, we post on Instagram, so like <laughs> that means we're official, right? But honestly, I didn't um, post about him for probably at least a year, maybe yeah. a year and a half, just because I was like, good. Is this gonna work out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sort of a thing. And then I was like, oh, he knows how crazy I am. Great. Yeah. You know. And so we've made it past that initial. <laughs> when the guys, they got to. can't get I away. I am crazy in me too. You know what I mean? So they got it. We got to get them past that hump and they see this crazy and then they're good. Once you clear that. You're good, good to, to go. Good to go. Yeah. So he's the keeper. That's how we met. Yeah. Okay. Reality well, amazing. TV, yeah. Amazing crazy. race, which you did with um, Aaron, right? Right. From and Clever. have you guys, have y'all been friends? Did y'all meet through Clever? We met at, we met at work. Okay. Yeah. That's how we met, which like that's been like one of the coolest things about Clever is that I have met so many. Yeah. Like, Dana, who started Clever, we were on the same team. She's like family to me. Lily, who's also at Clever, is like my little sister. So, and it's it's been just like such a great family yeah. of people. So much more than like your typical coworker thing, which is why I think it's been successful. Yeah, honestly, because people are invested in each other and in the process and in the content. So um, that's something. That's probably the thing I'm most proud of that yeah. we built is like that sort of camaraderie and work environment because you can't really like replicate that right honestly yeah no you can't so okay so you you guys went on the amazing race we did it was crazy it was so fun I heard that she cried a lot that was your you you loved it and you also did did. (laughs) yep she did cry um I watched an episode of you guys like a a short clip and she started crying in the it was when y'all were I don't know if it's on the amazing race but you're with the the host of the amazing race you're eating food and she started like tearing up because of the caviar (laughs) swallow it you have to swallow it. Oh, here comes the tears. Here comes the tears. And I was like, this is perfect. Like, this is literally what you described. It's the best for TV forever. <laughs> for, it, it really is. I mean, yeah, um, it adds dramatic effect. But, yeah, it, it was so in. fun because the season we went on was all people from the internet. Mm-hmm. So, like, a lot of us already knew each other. Right, but that's Which cool. adds, like, a whole layer of, like, weird competition that's awesome. Because I'm like, I'm going to, like, work with you in six months. Like, I don't want to <laughs> screw you over on this TV show. <laughs> yeah. um, and everybody was so, so strong. And so smart and like they're already successful yeah so you know they're not idiots you know what yeah. I mean so um, it was just like the best experience we got to see the coolest stuff definitely an awesome life experience oh my gosh I kind of want it I'm like you should audition how long is it how long do you have to it's like a 20 day 21 days 18 countries like 30 cities or something I could do that but did you sleep at all like not really that's how they make <laughs> you like act wild oh, okay because you're well. like I haven't eaten and I'm tired Shoot. and I don't know where I am and I don't know the language that would, yeah, they'd see some my craziest side come out. When I'm hungry and I'm tired, I'm a Hangry, raging psycho. Yeah. Yes. And that's how, <laughs> so like, scary. they don't have to, like, do the personality stuff where they're, like, trying to manipulate you. You just <laughs> manipulate yourself yeah. because you're so hungry. At the end of the day, I'm, like, I'm disheveled and I'm talking to myself. And I'm, like, no, 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 you can't go there. <laughs> no, we have to take this train. And, huh, and they're, like, Haley, no one's around. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that would be stuff. That would be so good for TV. It would be good. Just say, <laughs> very be castable. Good. I would, I'm honestly not scared of many things at all like um, I'm not gonna say on here what I am because then they'll know they'll but like it. they'll find out well they'll it's, find it's it. worms okay so like oh you're gonna be eating worms and swimming in worms. okay no I'm, I'm yes. sorry, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, get, I get so freaked out when I even think about that like it rained the other day and there's all these damn worms outside They're disgusting though worms really like I don't know Do you what are swimming they with worms maybe that's, I don't know that actually is like a nightmare that I've had like it I will Oh, that does sound really gross. That sounds like they'd put you in a tub. It and sounds then... unsanitary, so they probably won't be able to get away. We gotta stop. Hypothetically, we gotta cut this conversation off. I'm having like I'm starting to sweat. She's <laughs> having a compulsive reaction. I'm not okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so you've been at Clever since day one, right? And then recently there was like a, a bunch of drama mm-hmm. uh, because Defy Media shut its shut right, its down, right, right, shut right. its sto- Shut it down. Shut That's it like, down. That makes sense too, honestly. They shut their doors yes. down. Yeah. Um, and so it affected a lot of people right. on the Clever team and a lot of other people as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, what's that process been like since then? Mm-hmm. And then kind of where um, are you guys hoping to go from here? Right. So, yeah, kind of literally, not even kind of, literally out of nowhere in November, 
um, Defy Media, which is Clever's parent company, as well as another big property. Some people on YouTube might have heard of Smosh. It's like one of the biggest brands yeah. on the internet. Um, so we're sister, brother brands, whatever you want to say. Um, and as a result of the Defy shutdown, everyone at the whole company, including both of our staffs, were all laid off immediately on November yeah. 6th, I believe, was the big day. There was about 10 of us at the entire company who were retained, mostly all talent, Smosh talent and Clever talent, to help sell the brand okay. because the bank took over uh, Defy Media, which Defy is literally gone, does not exist anymore. It's and it was really, just poor finance, like managing finances. I mean, honestly, I don't know that we'll ever have the full story yeah. at this point, but Clever and Smosh are both very profitable companies and profitable brands. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely... Um, on the corporate level, all of the issues yeah. that caused the shutdown and definitely things that were way outside of anything I was involved with or had any insight into right. because this whole shutdown was like literally, I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, like we're closing today. Yeah. Right now. You're like, that's this weird. <laughs> yeah. That, so it was very, very shocking and very upsetting because so many people who are so talented, so gifted, lost their jobs and yeah. before the holidays. Um, so anyways, the last few months have really been spent. Um, with a small group of us trying to sell Clever, and there are definitely a lot of people who are interested. And I think yeah. maybe even by the time this goes live, um, we're speaking Clever that out. Will, yeah, Clever <laughs> will have a new home. I'm confident that Clever will have a new yeah. home somewhere. Well, you Just, guys are so sick. I mean, you literally went from like zero to three billion, over three billion views, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like crazy. clearly it's 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 very successful. It's a good investment for someone to make. Yeah. I think who that person or that company will be. Not totally sure yet. I mean, yeah. I have a definitely an idea of who I think it's going to be. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I think there's a bright future, Clever 2.0, for, for the world to enjoy. Hey, a second, you know what they say, <laughs> the second time around is the better time around. Oh, and they do? The first time sucked. So. Oh, great. That's what they say. Crap. That's what ancient Romans said. That's what the ancients say. A the ancients. Cheers to that. <laughs> the ancients and the ancients and we don't, I just like to make shit up, you know what I mean? Just say it like it's real. Honestly, if you say anything with authority, people will believe you. That's how I've gotten this far in life. I, to be totally honest. Yeah. There, there's the key to success, you guys. <laughs> just say it with authority. People don't ask questions. Okay, so for, you know, you've launched your YouTube channel mm -hmm. and um, and, and where do you want to go from here? Like what, I mean, yeah. you've, you've been so successful and you are successful. And so like, what is your, your dream for yourself? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Cause you know, especially when I was growing up, people are like, what are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do in this broadcast journalism career? Blah, blah, blah. And it's really interesting. Cause I grew up in an era with like out a cell phone mm -hmm. without my own email address. Definitely did not have my own computer. And I didn't even know what a laptop was. Yeah. 1944 so, was a crazy year. was so, crazy. Yeah. I literally, I grew up in the eighties and nineties. <laughs> um, so the concept that, you know, I could have ever imagined what I'm doing right now, it didn't exist. Mm -hmm. So I don't like to limit myself too much by being like, 10 years from now, I will be the host of Good Morning America. Because honestly, maybe I'm meant to create something new, do something new. Maybe I'm going to be living on Mars, quite frankly. I just don't know. So That's a possibility. I don't like to limit myself, but I do like to constantly be working and innovating and trying to create new yeah. things. Right now, as excited as I am about the future of whatever Clever is and does, I'm more excited probably yeah. about... Um, the opportunities that I want to start creating personally, including my YouTube channel, which I just launched two months ago. Yeah, which has been so fun. It's so rewarding and different when you're creating things for yourself and yep. not for a brand. It's just like when people watch, it's kind of like a different type of excitement mm -hmm. and appreciation. So that's been really cool, and I'm definitely going to be like leaning into that really hard as well as some other opportunities that are on the horizon. So um, – I'm just like very open and excited about 2019. Yeah. I think it's going to be a really good year. It's going to be a great year. I really, really, really do. I really believe that. And I think, you know, the law of attraction is real. So you have to put mm -hmm. positive things out there and hope positive things are more likely to come back. You they know? They are. They are. And if, I mean, it's true. If you're like negative and you're, and people don't want to be around that type of person, people don't get excited about that. So, and it's you addictive have too. I think like, Positivity and negative negativity are addictive mm -hmm. for, and I, I know that there are actual like chemical reactions that your brain yeah. has to both. And I like to stay addicted to like the good, the good vibes. Same. You know what I mean? Same. And keep those kind of people around me as much as possible too, because who you're around is so important. Yeah, absolutely. Which is why I'm here with Haley. Yes, that's you why know? we're here on the Landed Late Night Show. <laughs> no, seriously, though, Eric was like, you're going to love her. Like, you guys oh, are so, so similar. Sweet. And I was like, perfect. 
just Eric crazy Bigger. like me. Shout out to him. Eric Bigger, we love y'all. He's awesome, and I love him on the Bachelor franchise. Yes. And he was just a really cool people. And I think cities like LA. You're are you from Texas? I'm from Texas. I'm from Dallas. So I grew up here in the suburbs of LA, like Normalville, but very close to like all of this. And I've always hated it when people are like, oh, LA, ugh, 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 whatever. I'm like, there are good people. No, everywhere. I, all of my just friends. Look for them. Yes, and honestly, like. You are now probably the fifth person that I've met that's grown up in L.A. And all of y'all are super cool. Like, everyone's super nice. The people that I've met that are not kind are the ones that move here and yes. think that they can act a certain way and, like, are entitled. Which is – and you can find that anywhere. You know what I mean? It's just, like – It's true. But, I mean, L.A., like, is a unique place because yeah. of the industry that the city is, like, built on and exists right. because of. And it, a lot of it is, you know, people move here to take on these amazing careers where they're – for lack of better terms, in some ways playing pretend. Like that's, you know, at its core kind of what the imagination of acting is about. And so I think like that can kind of go a few different ways yeah. for people. Yep. And um, playing pretend all the time is probably not a good idea. No, definitely <laughs> you not. You know what I mean? I'm no, just saying. And it's just, yeah. And but there's great people here. Yeah, there, there are. really are. I want to talk about um, the, like, you know, you guys started Clever mm -hmm. in a Garage. Right. Um, and then the process of you selling that company. I mean, how did you know how to do that? Like, obviously, I'm starting this show, and so for me, I'm, like, really interested to know that process. How that works. Yeah, because I have – I didn't go to business school. Like, right. everything that I've learned, I just learn on the fly. I learn as I go, trial and error. Mm -hmm. So what was that like? And yeah. yeah, no, it's crazy, and I think – so this industry, the digital world, and especially when we sold Clever, which was in 2012 – um, these sorts of companies were still so new. And honestly, that's one of the most attractive things about this business to me as an entrepreneur is that it is literally still the Wild West. <laughs> yes, it's way more organized. But even the fact that you're like, I have an idea for a show and now I'm doing it without the support of like a TV network or a studio, like that's the Wild West. That kind of stuff would not be happening <laughs> if it was not for the internet. Yeah. So to kind of answer your question, um, when we started Clever, there were four of us. Okay. And initially I was like, oh, this is cool. This can be good on my reel, you know? Yeah. And um, then as time progressed and we started seeing success and really growing an audience, um, I initially started there as a freelancer. And then slowly but surely it was like, okay, two days a week, three days a week, four days a week. And then it, was, it hit a point where the two uh, men that founded the company were like, okay, we want to bring you on full time. Yeah. Um, and at that point, you know, we were given equity in the company, which I also recommend if you're someone who's, you know, in involved in a startup, that mm -hmm. is something that you should always take as a part of your deal. And that was like the beginning of all of us. We got our first office in Hollywood, which Woo! was so cool. And we worked so hard. I mean, 80 hours a week at least. Oh my God. And we did always have the intention, like we wanted to sell the company. Yeah. Because when you're a startup, it's like, if this video about Justin Bieber, baby, doesn't hit a million views, I guess we have to fire some people. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's actually, I mean, the way I looked at it, I was like, if I don't do 70 videos this week, that editor's probably going to not work here anymore, you know, because... 70? I mean, we were doing at least 20 a day at that time. There you were filming and, and editing? or uh, We weren't cutting the videos. Um, we were producing, writing, and hosting them 20 a day. There was two of us. And, I mean, oh, it was a goodness. lot of work. And then on top of that, going out to car carpets and doing interviews and no intern. Like, we were prepping for everything all by ourselves. Oh, my gosh. And, um. How did you get access to red carpet? Begging, mostly. All right, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Next episode. You know, I would go and meet with people. Because um, I had worked at other outlets where okay. publicists knew me. Okay. And I'd be like, listen, I'm working at this new thing. It's on the internet on this thing called YouTube. And I would, like, beg people and. There's one publicist, Chris Rossi, who I've known for like 15 years at this point. He was the first guy to give us a shot. And once his clients started coming in, other publicists were like, ooh, this cute little internet show. Like, let's send our clients on it. And from there, you know, then the industry has now caught up where like oh. the movie studios want us covering things. Um, but there was nothing glamorous about it, but it was very fun, very rewarding. And then when it came time to sell the company, um, it, for me at least, I had never been through anything like that before. Right. And so I always just recommend like, have a great lawyer, have great people looking out for you, be willing to spend the money because if you don't, you might be paying for it for yeah. the rest of your life. <laughs> and we had great people that we were working with. Uh -huh. But again, like at that point in time, the sale of these type of companies was so new and fresh. Um, we were just kind of figuring it out on the fly, yeah. to be totally honest. 
and trying to find the right fit for, for us. So Alloy Digital was the company that bought us, and okay. they also bought Smosh. Okay. And that was in 2012. And from there, it was just kind of like crazy. Crazy growth a few different times, like big growth spurts that we had. And that's a result of me being able to then, and us being able to be like, okay, we don't need to worry about like stocking the kitchen and cleaning the office because now that we're a part of a bigger company, I can just focus on my lane, which yep. is creating content, yeah. which was so cool. Yeah. Um, and at the end, at Defy, that's why when I say I was not involved in what happened with the shutdown, there were people handling the business. Yeah. I was not involved in yeah. that in, in as big of a way. So, yeah. I mean, there and there's also no path, one path. Right. Like, when these companies are buying and selling, like if you were like, oh, I want to sell my show to X, Y, and Z, every single deal is still so different. You yeah. just have to do what you think is going to be best for you, which right. is so vague and stupid, but it's just true. No, and I think, I mean, it is true. And I, you know, I have pretty good intuition. So I kind of just go off Trust of like that. my gut instinct and what I feel peace about. And if I don't, then I just like, don't move forward with it. If you so. think it's weird, it's probably weird <laughs> and not good weird, you know, cause there's good weird too. <laughs> yeah. We're good weird. <laughs> Thank you. We're the good kind you of You get me. <laughs> you get Thank that. you. <laughs> I, I always said that. My mom was like, you're just like a sparkle of weirdness and joy. And I'm like, oh, love that. Oh, my gosh. I love your mom. She's the best. Oh. She is a, she's a hoot. That Tamara. <laughs> Shout Tamara. out, mom. Tamara. Tamara. Hey, <laughs> oh we my probably God. went to high school together. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Before. Well, your mom's probably way younger than that. Actually. Yeah, she's 56. Mom, oh. don't worry. You're, yeah, I'm not throwing you into this. I'm your grandmother. I'm your grandmother. <laughs> oh, my God. You could be at that. 74, 56. Like, you could have had her. Oh. Totally possible. Well, yeah, we're just we're going there, you know. That's what's happening. Um, I am like just I just love you so much already. Are you a seven on the Enneagram? Do you know? Okay, I've not done the Enneagram. I have not done any of these things, but I have so many friends who are con. I have a few friends who are obsessed with all of these personality mm -hmm. tests. That's, I'm all one I know of them. are my love languages. That I have, need to take all these other tests, and I have a lot of free time now, so maybe that's what I should do. Yes, go. I will send you the link. <laughs> Enneagram. I think, that's the one mm -hmm. that you mentioned, but there's a few others. There's Myers too. Briggs. Myers I can Briggs. tell you all of them. Myers Briggs. There's Enneagram, the love languages. There's yes. like the Strengths Finder, which is yes. a really long test. And I think that's all of them. Unless Maybe it'll you help get into me like find astrology. my next path in life. I'm not into astrology. No, I'm not either. Which but Eric is. Well, our, he our is, and he, he, Eric, he, you said I was a Virgo. I'm. It says. I mean, my birthday says I'm a Virgo, but I'm not a Virgo. Like. I looked at the definition and I was like, this is not me. And then my roommate, who's super into it, she's like, well, maybe your rising sun is, you know, your on. Threshold she doesn't talk like cusp. that. Jess, you don't talk like that. I'm sorry. Like you're on the cusp of something else. Yeah. Something. And I was like, but mine are hard. Everything's like Virgo. And I was like, no, nah, this just is like doesn't line up with me at all. And I don't believe in it. So whatever. Sorry. So I guess. <laughs> so like, uh. No, but exactly. The, the, like the Myers-Briggs, the Enneagram, I was, I used to be obsessed with the Myers-Briggs, but mm -hmm. the Enneagram is way more in depth. And so I like. I like that a lot more, and that's just like a your inner how you process things mm -hmm. and um, and the outside world. And it's and not assigned to you; like you're taking no. a test that's actually interpreting some of your personality yeah. traits. So exactly, like, that makes sense exactly. It's like asking you questions, yes. and it's basically the answers off that versus being like, "Well, you were born on that date, so therefore you're a Virgo," <laughs> and you're like, mm, "I don't know." Um, <laughs> When it gets real high pitch, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I was I think you might be a seven. Okay, great. But, um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Yeah, get back we'll to We'll do me an on update. That. What's your love languages? My love languages, so I think honestly, this whole love language thing, if you ever want to be in a successful relationship, which like I <laughs> never have been until now, um, you should really do because yeah, it not only shows true. you what you need, but more importantly, what you need to give to someone mm -hmm. else. Like, what if you're with someone whose thing is like, like my boyfriend is like you know, a lot of guys are like, don't touch me. Like, don't touch me in public. He needs to be, like, petted, like, yes. all the time. Yep. And, like, I would have never known that, um, which is great because he's also cute. So, like, I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, but for he's me. He's mine. Mine in public. <laughs> yeah, mine is, I think, time, quality time spent together. And then, um, gosh, what's the other one? It's not words of affirmation. It's not gifts, like, presents. It's not um, physical touch. It's the other one. Acts of service. Acts of service. Yes. Biggest one for me. Like, if you take out my trash or, like, help me with, like, my my dishes, you have my heart forever. Yeah. <laughs> like, forever and ever. That's all I need. I, I, that What's was yours? mine. So, when I took it, I had just gotten out of a relationship where, like, the, there was a lot of talk and not a lot of follow through. Yes. So I hate that. I hate it, too. I, I hate just, it. Like, Whatever. So anyways, when I took it, I got acts of service because that was what I was, I was, acts of service to me like shows me that you love me. It's not me. just talk. Exactly. You're like doing something to back those words up. Exactly. That's you're trying like to too. back it up. Yeah. And so 
That and then physical touch. Words of affirmation, physical touch. I took it again. Those were like my top ones. Ugh. But acts of service. Like all of them. All you <laughs> Except for gifts. Do. I don't like gifts unless it's like a handwritten letter. You know? Are we twins? I think so. Literally. Because my boyfriend's <laughs> always like, I'm not going to get you anything. Like you don't even care. You know? <laughs> and then like, but if he like wrote me a note. Yeah. <laughs> About like, how much he loves you. Drew me a picture yeah. or something. I'd be like, Is he oh. <gasps> um, he's like weirdly good at a lot of things. Yeah, including like Chris, the know. arts. Mm -hmm. He's like, I drew this. I'm like, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> I drew this while you were sitting across the room at the silhouette of your face. <laughs> so strange. <laughs> Thank you. That's why he's coming around to the YouTube thing. He's like, oh, that maybe this is my. Yes. I'm coming out and this is like working for me. Yeah, exactly. He's like, as long as we can like go on a cool vacation. Like, yeah, I'm down to be in your video. Yeah, that sounds great. Straight up. If I could be like a just like a travel and food influencer, it's. I don't. I think in clothes, free clothes. Yes. <laughs> like no. all of those things. And it's really crazy. Like at this point, I'm so grateful. Like in my career, to like have people send me things sometimes mm -hmm. for free. I'm like, but you know, like 15 years ago, I could have really used a new pair of jeans. Yeah. I'm like, right now, I, I'm so excited. I'm like not living on corn nuts anymore. Yeah. Like, I could buy my own meal, but like now people want to give it to me and it's like the weirdest. Yeah. It's awesome. Please continue. Yeah, please continue. <laughs> Sour punch straws. Please send me oh free, free candy. Gosh. Keep it coming. I love you. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have those anymore. I'm not either, actually. <laughs> Wait, but I don't, I don't know if I'm not allowed, but they make me... They make me really, yeah, yeah. and it's really sick. Plastic. I know. And then I also, like, I knew I've been, I've been lactose intolerant, but recently I found out, um, because I broke out in a rash, uh, oh. that I can't, the gluten, like, I have whatever. Oh, no. I have an allergy to that. celiac or something? Or no, I'm not celiac. It's like in gluten intolerance. I'm not celiac. Like, I'm not going to die. Yeah. But I just break out into a rash, so. Oh, that's not so cute. unfortunate. I think I like gluten yeah, a lot. I mean, who doesn't? Like, if I could just have cheese and bread every day. Which is kind of what I grew up on, to be honest. So I mean, that's what I live on <laughs> currently. Just like a steady diet of cheese. The the, the lactose thing, like, couldn't I don't know. I would die probably. I mean, you're that's you're so fortunate. I think like I I ate so much dairy as a child mm. that my body was like, f you, you're done. With you're this dairy. done, and we're cutting you. So like in college, it like hit me hard. Can you have like sheep's cheese? Or I can something? have goat milk. Goat, so I can have goat cheese. cheese. I might can have sheep. I don't. Is that the that's You know, the I'll really do some re Is that a goat and a sheep? They're two like different cousins, animals. They're I think. <laughs> They're like brother and sister. We're all God's yeah. children. Yeah, we are. That's right. <laughs> you're a sheep, and I'm a sheep, and you're a goat, and I'm a goat, and we're all just the same. And then we're, we're frolicking around in these valleys together, and it's fine. Unity. Unity. Um, okay. You okay. ready to play a game? Sure, I'm excited. Me too. This is so fun. Like, Wait, usually I'm on the other side. And this I'm like, is I don't like, know what's going on. This is the emoji I would be if I was, it'd be like, <laughs> you just did it perfectly. That's your thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so game time. Game time. Game time. <laughs> um, this is called Think Fast. Okay. So we're each going to give six questions to each other. And for each question, we have to give three responses in under five seconds. Okay. So there's a buzzer. Competition. You know, like a little healthy competition. I'm already honestly like sweating so much. <laughs> so this is going to be great. It's going to be I'm excited. so fun. Um, we got some good ones. So. Three things you wish you owned but don't. A Chanel bag, a Chanel wallet, and a Chanel backpack. <laughs> Amir, you I you really did it. I like Chanel. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Uh, three things you do on your honeymoon. Sex, eat, swim. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that's what I would want to be doing. Oh like, my gosh. Food. That's not that Swimming sounds time. great. Yeah, oh, it does. Honeymoon sounds Beach nice. Vibes. I like it. Yeah, Chris, honeymoon sounds really nice. Chris, Chris, no pressure. Honeymoon sounds really nice. Zaddy, <laughs> Zaddy, <laughs> take on a trip. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Whew. All right. Last three celebrities you stalked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tom Hanks, Ron Howard, and Rita Wilson. That was great, but I want to know why. Okay, so I love Tom Hanks. Um, and I met him a couple years ago, okay. and he was, like, even better as a person than I thought he would be. But recently, him and Rita Wilson went through the In-N-Out drive through in, like, the Inland Empire and gave, like, a bunch of free cheeseburgers. To, they, like, bought In-N-Out for everyone inside of the In-N-Out. Right around Christmas. It was, like, Santa came to town. And it's, like, once you get in a wormhole on the Internet, it's just, like, so so deep and dark it's very and wonderful. <laughs> and I just have discovered that all of my preconceived positive notions about all of them are true. Like like Ron Howard is like great grandpa goals yeah. and Tom Hanks is like grandpa goals. Yeah. You know? Man. And Rita Wilson is a musician. 
Yeah. She's a singer. I, yeah. Who knew? No, I did not. So now you not me. You. You're welcome. You, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I come on my show. I just learned so much, you know. Learning and growing Learning together. Learning, yes. Unity. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, this is good. You should put this out into the universe. Okay. Three places to go on a date. Nobu, uh, Six Flags, and shower. Oh, my God, no. In the shower. No. What kind of dates do you go on? No. That's fun. You should I always literally... be clean. Hygiene's important. <laughs> that is not, I am not, that is not, I don't actually mean that. What did you mean? mean? I don't know. I think, I don't know. I thought like Six Flags, I'm trying to think of like where I got A to C or A to Z. <laughs> Six Flags, maybe I thought of like the misters, and then I thought it's hot, and then shower, and I don't know. I like that you have like a high low though. Like, you know, you're like gonna go have the fancy no. Right, I was like, no, but it's six flags. flags. <clears throat> All right, okay, yes. It's my turn, yeah? Yep, it's okay. your turn. Three things you do in a bar. Um, take shots, dance on the bar, That's and my, giggle. That's my girl! This is my girl! <laughs> Giggling. Take shots, dance on the bar, and hee hee, giggle. <laughs> I love it. Can you tell I was in a sorority? I was really good at it. <laughs> One of the best moments of my life. Anywho. Okay, okay, this is a hard one. Okay. Name three organs besides the lungs. Skin, your heart, and your brain. Is I, brain an organ? Yeah, definitely. Damn, what up? But you came through big with came skin. So a lot big. of people don't know the skin is our biggest organ. It's their biggest organ. You're smart. I'm like really smart. So. <laughs> oh, that was impressive. I went to UC Irvine, so I'm like really smart. <laughs> Me too. I was oh the God. dumbest person there for sure. For sure. I did not go to UC, UC, UC Irvine. You I went was, to UT. I went to, yeah, Hook'em Horns, school. baby. This is my or burnt orange. I'm rapping. I'm so even, Matthew McConaughey so, today. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally, if I could meet anyone or have dinner with anyone, it would be he would be one of them. I'm not all gonna right, say the only right, one. All right. Oh my! You know his acceptance speech for that Oscar, like the courage and significance you give me every day I go out the door is unparalleled. You are the four people in my life that I want to make the most proud of me. Thank you. I was living for life that. Changing. It was it was life changing for me. <laughs> Three favorite body parts on yourself. I like my teeth, my elfin ears, and this, like, armpit part. Yes! Like, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the it. The weird little, like, what's this called? Like, it's your floobies? Yes. The, <laughs> the weenus? Oh, no, the weenus, the weenus. is the this elbow. Is I do love a good weenus. I do love a good weenus. Wait, what are your ears? You said your elf ears? Oh, I have, so I used to be embarrassed. I have very elf ears. Like, okay. they, like, stick I out. Have, but they're small and elfin. Look at that. Mine, my ears stick out. See, we need to embrace our ears. <laughs> no, I hi I'm hiding mine. You like, shouldn't. Do ponytails. <laughs> Get into it. Whatever. It. Now everyone knows. We have everyone know. knows what our ears and it's just now I feel free. Freedom. <laughs> um Okay. Okay. Three popular emojis. <laughs> oh wait. If, um, I don't know if they have names. Uh yeah, this one E poop and sugar. Sugar? There's a sugar. No, emoji? there's not. There's not a sugar one. Three terms for hooking up. Um, boning, <laughs> sexing, making love. Yeah, that's right. Sexing, boning, making love. So honestly, boning is like my favorite. <laughs> I think it's the funniest. It's like what like junior hires say. So I try to like stay on trend with yeah. like, what the youth are yeah. doing. Yeah, I always love to repeat what junior high kids say. That's like my lingo. Isn't it? It just sounds like so weird, like boning. Boning. You want to bone? And you're like, I don't That sounds scary. I don't like, um, <laughs> what? Our, our 30 person live audience is dying laughing right now. <laughs> Um, okay, show us three popular emoji faces. Oh, I already did this. Um. <laughs> I was like, this one, and then this one. It's like, it's like, maybe I'm mad, maybe I'm constipated, it's I don't know. It's the pooping one. Yes, the pooping one, and then this is the, ugh, I'm annoyed, like. The one where the eye roll. Yeah. I like that, that one. That one's like, that one's, I use that a lot, and I use this one a lot. <laughs> three favorite things about Chris. Oh my gosh, his teeth, his hair, his hot bod. Yeah, oh, and his heart, and like all that, all that, all that stupid things. All the like romantic things, like the, you know. I'm like his soul. <laughs> his I'm like his body. <laughs> <laughs> his teeth, his body, and his hair, like that's all I care about. Oh, and he's a great human. Yeah. His yeah. acts of service to me. Oh, all right, this is your last one. Oh God, okay. Okay. Time to shine, time to shine. This is funny, I'm excited to hear your answer. Oh, Three things that could fit in your pocket. A penny, a mouse, and a tampon. A mouse? <laughs> oh my gosh, how big are your pockets? <laughs> Pretty damn big. <laughs> this, not that big. This is a, it's a baby mouse. It's a are we talking about like yeah. a handheld mouse or like the animal? Oh, I was thinking like a baby mouse. Like a, a mouse. Wait, how big is a mouse? 
I, I thought of a. I don't a know. Mice. You might be alone for that one. I'm not really into rodents. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could eyes like pocket sized mouse just like pew, 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 pew. that's right a here. cute story. Thank you. <laughs> and I just made it up on the fly. <laughs> on the fly. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna have you back for every episode. I laugh more fun. in this episode than, than I feel like we got a lot of cardio. We got, kind of like hitting a few different things. Like I am My abs are so worked much. out, you know, at yes. this point. I don't need to do an ab. My eight minute eighty <laughs> eighty the, have you do the eight minute ab workout. It's like from the eighties. It actually really works. Alright, let's get going. The first exercise is going to be the basic crunch. Hands behind the head and just crunch right up. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for <laughs> coming you on. Thank This was so fun. And Good. congrats on your show. Thank you, Mama. Don't stop. Mommy. Keep it up. Mommy. Mommy. Uh, with the apostrophe. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Zaddy. Zaddy, Mommy. Zaddy, Mommy. All, all the, the people. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay. Perfect. Well, guys, make sure to subscribe to Landed Late Night. I will be releasing a new episode every week at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. Uh, we out. Let's go, girl. Let's we out. Dance it like mommy. this. Mommy. Oh. Daddy. Daddy. I love mommy. you, mommy. I love you. I love you, mommy. I love you. Zaddy. <laughs>